Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Redneck Ways. How you all doing today? Hope everybody said fine and dandy. I'm not doing too awful bad here in old Kentucky. It is Saturday, guys. Saturday afternoon. It's about 2 o'clock. And um, we had a beautiful day. It's a little windy. Um, temperatures finally got about 55 degrees. So, no rain. The, the sky is blue today. A beautiful blue so I'm glad to see that um, today guys we're going to be working on the cabinet of the Motorola that we worked on <clears throat> the last video and we got quite a bit to do um, we got to fix those uh, these places here that's broke out we gotta get that glued back we've got to get this glued down here because it's cracked down here too we gotta get that fixed. We're gonna take go ahead and take the handle off because we may leave it white. I'm not for sure. I know I'm leaving the knobs white. The knobs are gonna be white and the little push button's gonna be white. And um, we're gonna have to sand the this is a bacon lot case, so it's a little you know fragile. <clears throat> As you can see, it's all busted out. And I do not know how hard it would be to get all this paint off of it and with i've done things like this before sometimes you put some stripper on it, it comes right off other times you just have a big goo of a mess and you still can't get it off and if you're going to repaint something you got to make sure you, you know you don't have no little marks because it you'll definitely sit in your paint job your finished job <coughs> so what we're going to, i'm wanting to do guys I'm wanting to keep the gold because um, gold paint for me is hard to find. I, every gold paint I ever find is super thin. It's hard to work with and it never looks like this. Now I have some gold that we can probably touch up later on when we get everything finished. But I want to uh, tape all this off. All the gold trim. I'm going to get all that taped off. And try to save that and all around the be the bezel. So, got quite a bit to do. So, first thing I want to do is get this glued up and let it set for a while without touching it. And then what I'm planning on doing, because I, I don't think I'm going to try to strip it. I'm just going to take some sandpaper. I got went to Lowe's today and got this assortment of uh, sandpaper. And I think it was a pretty good deal. It's a little expensive, but at the same time, you get the 60, the 100, the 150, and the 220. And then I've got, I have a 600 block around here somewhere to finish things. So, I think that's pretty good. Pretty good buy. It's a big, big square sheets. So, but what I want to do is kind of take and uh, fine sand it, get, um, get it back down smooth. And then I'll probably take some fill and fill all these little places in this paint job. I haven't never done this before like this. But I'm thinking if I could just fill this and get all this level to this paint. You know, see what I'm saying? So there won't be no dips. And that way when we paint it, it should be all flat. That's what I'm shooting for. Which are, there's a lot of places here. So I don't know how well that's going to work. But I'm going to try that before I strip it. I may have to end up stripping it. But So let me get you all. I got to move you all about a foot so I can get scooted up to the table. And I'll be right back. Alright guys. First thing I'm going to do is take this. Uh, try to get this handle off. There's in here two screws. Let's see if we can get in there. Get these off. That way, it'll keep it from having to run, get runs and stuff in the paint. We may still paint the handle, but I still want it off of here. And just make it that one less thing to make a run or a paint job. Yeah, 
How long is that boat? I don't think that one's that long. Oh, that war sure keeps turning on me. There we go. Alright, put the screws back in so we don't lose them. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and take these screws out too that hose the back on. Because we're gonna have to try to get that fixed back right too. Because it was all warped and it was just sitting in there. We can probably put some washers or something on it to hold the cardboard back in place. So, I guess what we'll try to do first, guys, is uh, we'll try to uh, get some glue down here in this crack here. And then we'll go to this. Now, I guess I probably should uh, get something, try to mark this up a little bit so the glue will sit in there. So, let me run out and get my Dremel tool. Alright, guys, you're going to be seeing something very rare I'm actually using this blade for the second time I usually break them as soon as uh, I put them up on the shelf they get broke so I took that one off this time put it back in its little case <laughs> but all right I'm just going to put some uh, just put some little grooves in here I don't want to get outside the line or nothing but down in here I can put some lines in that in here on the top too Try to match them up and that way the glue will have something to bite down on because this is a pretty big piece that we're trying to glue and we don't want it to come back off We'll do it on this piece too.
All right. Did I get up here? All right, that should give it something to bond to. I'm gonna take this off again. I'm getting getting low, and they're not super expensive, but I always forget to buy them. And it seems like once I'm out, I always need it. They're the handiest things I've ever bought myself. These little cutting blades. All right. All right, guys. So now, get the glue on. Get the glue out. I'll have to make a glue run here soon. Getting low. All right. So I'm going to try... I'm going to fix this up here first. And I can't get inside here. There's just no way to get inside and doing marking. So we're just going to push some glue in there. I got my light on. There we go. That's that's one of what was so dark. Forgot to turn the light on, guys. Sorry about that. Put some glue on here. And that will go right like that. And that excess I ain't wasting. We'll put it over here. So that's how we do it, guys. Hey, my granddaughter just popped in. Hey, dry bug. Papa, doing a video, sweetie. And we're going to get all that excess off. Need a paper towel, which I do not have. piece of one anyway we'll go ahead and get the excess off because we don't want to be sanding that now we'll put glue all in here I'm getting low on it let's put it all down through here guys fill it all in One good thing about Bakelot, it seems when it does break, it don't shatter. It just uh, breaks pretty even, and you can sometimes do what I'm doing right now and get it put back. But I've been very noticeful. I ain't, I ain't been stingy with the glue because I want a good fit. Get a piece. Get her fit in here. Just like that. And I want to get the excess off. Which I'm glad there wasn't much. That means it's all still inside there. So I think, guys, that's going to do a pretty good job. Because it's a nice top fit. So, so that will take care of that, hopefully. 
was let it dry. I was going to try to take some clamps or some uh, straps, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it'll wear it tight, fit so tight. I think it'll be fine. Now, guys, what we need to do is work on this case. I need. Actually, I need to come on the back side of this and spread this glue out. I noticed I had some back here. We'll just spread it all out down here. Like that. should work we'll give it a couple hours to dry before we can paint or anything but we got plenty of other stuff to do before we even think about painting what I want to do now guys is uh, get this bevel and everything taped off so that is going to be fun and it's going to be time for soon so I'll be doing a lot of this off camera We'll get it started together. Oh, yeah. This blue tape. I had to sell my left kidney to buy this. That stuff is so daggling high. I wanted the, the thinner row. I was going to buy it, but uh, I put it back. I never had this, so I'll just tear it in pieces here. So what I want to do, guys, I want to... Uh, Go around this gold and it kind of looks like all the outside is still white, it's just the inside that's gold, just the lip. That's what we'll do. We'll just over here. That's my stomach growing like that. And this right here is the paint job, the prep work, getting it all where you want it. Getting everything covered that you don't want painted and all that good stuff. Yeah, it ain't working like I want it to. Maybe if I cut cut this corner round. tastes very sticky that's good but makes it hard to work with now we gotta make this turn down here hope everybody's doing good out there in YouTube land. Everybody's safe. Having a great weekend. All right, I think that's gonna get it. Ah, my corner. There. Yeah, because all up here is still, it's white. So we'll just leave all that white because we're gonna paint it. When we paint it, It'll look pretty good. I might have to straighten that up a little bit. Let's see if I can straighten it. Get that little crook out of it. Yeah. That looks good.
if I can keep it, that corner keeps on lifting up on me. This down here has too much tape. piece here bother me and it will show up in the paint job if we don't take care of it man it's not wanting to go away is it there we go there we go some dirt there all right there's our bevel i want to do the same thing guys with the tape i'm going to tape all this off and like i said i know there's some chips but i do have some gold paint and we can try to match that up after we paint the box i've still got to clean it oh this is real nasty dirty i still got to wipe it all down real good and clean and then um we'll let that dry though I want to, we'll let all this dry so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll, when you all come back and see, I'll have this taped off. And it'll be all good and cleaned off. And we'll start sanding and seeing if we're, how we're going to fix these little places. I'm thinking seriously, guys, just put some fill. A little bit of fill and then sand it down to flush with the old paint. So, you know, alright guys. I'll see you all here in a little while. We're going to let this glue dry. And I'm going to finish taping this gold trim up. Alrighty, guys. Let's see. Alright, guys. I got it all taped off. Now, we need to clean this thing really good. And I'm going to use some awesome stuff. This stuff does a really good job. Before I do that, I need to put an old towel down. This thing is filthy. This towel's already dirty, so that's why I put it in front of my door out, out there in the shed to keep the cold weather coming in. Now, I know we don't got much room, guys. I'm trying to let me see if I can pull you back a little bit. There we go. That helped a little bit, didn't it? All right. I'm just going to spray it down. And in these cracks is what's not going to be fun to clean. I don't want to get that glue too wet. It's still drying. Maybe we take a toothbrush and get in these cracks real good. Definitely a dust collector. Look at that stuff running off of it. That's why I put the towel down. <coughs> oh gosh, that stuff's a little strong. Mm. Let's see if I got I have my toothbrush in here. Maybe some stuff. I hope I don't peel my tape off. Yeah, that's clean and good. The radio is going to look better just doing this. Remember, we had to glue this thing together. 
probably should have let it set a little bit longer. But for sake of the video, I can't do that. I want to get it done so I can show you guys. And once I get the paint on it, it all dry together, the glue and the paint. We'll just have to be careful. That's not being careful. I love the roundness. Back in the 50s and 60s, they, they, I just love the style back then. Alright. Let's get some paper towels, see what it looks like. Now, I wouldn't use this Fantastic on, like, dials and stuff, because it does such a good job cleaning that kind of, like, that plastic dial that was in this. That come off. Probably have to retape it. Yeah, probably going to have to put some more tape on that. Uh, hopefully, the rest of it will stay dry it all off if it's just one piece that's no big deal we'll have to put a new piece here it's been giving me problems anyway probably should have done this cleaning before I put the tape There we go again. But what I'm saying, this kind of, it cleans so good, it kind of puts a, it ain't shiny. It takes the shine off. Man, that was dirty. wet again. Where did I put my spray? There it is. Yeah, that makes it so much easier when it's a little bit damp. It dried on me. And it's hard to come out of there. It's filthy. I don't know how hard it's going to be to paint inside these grooves. I see a new crack. I want to put glue there too. All down through there. Maybe that dirt was keeping it together. Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to 
to put some glue in there. Alright guys, I'll phase this off camera. I'm just going to get the rest of that dirt out of these louvers. And I'm going to have to put some glue in there. And I've got to put more tape up here on top. And then we can start sanding maybe. Did I get this side already? What down? Yeah. So, alright, guys. Let me get that other. Let me get that place glued. And we'll come back and uh, we will start sanding a little bit here. Get it sand. Put some feel on them scratches. Try to see how that's going to work out. I really wish I waited to tape that till we did this. All right. If I would just stay, we'd be all right. I may have to go back and try to paint that goat again. I don't know yet. I can just get that to stay. All right. Let me get this. Let me get this glued back, guys. And I'll be back. Alright guys, I got it all taped back and everything. Look how dirty this look how dirty this thing was. It was nasty. So now what we need to do guys, we need to uh see if we if we can put some uh, feel over the all these scratches. We'll just see if it, how it works. I'm gonna use this uh plastic wood. So I don't know how well it's gonna work. About ready to find out. Gotta find something to spread it on her with. Alright guys. I think she's pretty dry. We got that all taped up. The glue seems like it's dried up pretty well. So what I want to do now, like I was saying a minute ago, I'm gonna to try to put some feel in these little scratches. That way we can get everything level. Um I'm going to concentrate on the top on and what the eye sees. Because there's so many of these, it's probably going to be impossible to get them all. And I think the paint will fill them in a lot. So, let's see how it works. I had to make me a little um, spreader here. So, let's see. Let me get a little bit here. And I just want to put just a little on this. Just a, a very smooth. Just enough to fill these cracks in. These scratches, rather. And this stuff's pretty easy to sand. Corner don't want to cooperate. They're not very deep, so it makes it kind of difficult. That one just does not want to come. There we go. Just gonna 
Keep moving here. See, some of them are pretty difficult to I guess where it's just so thin the scratches aren't very deep. Keep doing that guys to all where all those little black nicks. And after I get finished with it, we'll hit it with sandpaper and see if we can get it to all level. One I didn't think it'd be as hard. <laughs> it just does not there we go. Finally covered it. I'm going to keep doing that and we're going to try to get all this filled in and then I'll come back and we'll sand it. Alright guys, I've got pretty much on all the big blotches of black. So I'm going to let this sit here and dry for about 20 minutes. I don't want it to get too hard. I want it just dry enough to work it, you know, and I can get it all down flush and level. Um, I got all the big places and I filled in our crack. I got that filled in, so that I'm hoping that'll turn out looking pretty good. And just just some field work on it, and hopefully we'll get it all one level. And when we lay our paint, it'll all go good and smooth. That's what I'm hoping for. Where it's where it's got rounded edges, it's just got it won't. If there's one little wave or anything, you're going to be able. Your eyes going to go right to it. So I'm hoping doing this we'll level it out because I really don't want to strip this whole thing because could you imagine trying to get all this paint out of these louvers all right let's let that dry all right guys I think we can start sanding on it I think it's dry enough like I said I don't want it super hard right now I just I want to get it down level and then we'll let it dry some more. But I want to get these big lumps off of it. So let's see. Hopefully if it's too wet, it'll pull off there. So we just got to be careful here. See if we can. See if it's going to come knock loose and not come off. I, I don't want it to pull off there. Kind of just. coming off right there maybe too wet I don't know Oops. maybe still too wet Ain't working like I want it to. Let's let it dry a little bit longer. And uh, I would just sand it down and paint it, but I don't know if those. I don't know if all these little cracks. Let's just sand it down and see what. It's going to be a pain to sand anyway. See, that worked out good. So I'm going to continue sanding, guys. Get it all nice and smooth. And uh, once I do that, I'll be back and... Uh, We'll get ready to shoot the paint to it. 
But yeah, I think it's it's dry enough. These are doing good. I don't know. I guess where this is round. And that's why it pulled out. And this stuff back here is dry. See, that did a good job. So what I'll probably have to do, I'll sand all this, and I'll probably have to come back and do these over. Because that, see how good that did? Those are doing good. These are both of these. And then down level. Maybe I went too far down, too. That could have been the problem. See, I, I don't know. I think it's moving them all out, actually. I don't know. This stuff seems pretty dry. I like with these edges here, you can get in places like that right there. I don't know if that filler is going to work or what, but at least we tried, huh? I can't say we didn't give it, give it a shot. All right, guys, I'll finish sanding off camera, and I will be back, and we're getting closer to putting the paint to it. All right, guys. Now we're getting ready to paint it. I got some uh, just rub now cloth. I want to clean it. I want to spray it. And then clean it and wipe it off real good. And get all that. Any, uh, I, I took an uh, air compressor and blew it off. Now we're just going to wipe it down to get all the, anything that's left behind off of it. These louvers, they're pretty. They're nice, they're cool looking. Man, they're a pain. If you're going to try to repaint. You gotta get down in there and make sure all that dust is out of them. Make everything good and clean. get my tape too wet again. The filling, the fill didn't do like I wanted to, but I smoothed all these out. And I think they'll take paint. At least we hope they will. Done too. I think we're going to lose our sticker though, guys. I tried to uh, put tape over that and it just peeled it, it was peeling it off. All right, I think we got all, all the dust off of it.
sure all my tape's still in there. And I think we're ready to paint. So, we're gonna paint it red, guys. Check out these new uh, little gidge gadgets on these Rust-O-Noium cans. Pretty neat, huh? And you don't have to take the lid off anymore. It's just right here. But we gotta find which way we want to paint. Let's see. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, just a little bit. That might work. For the first coat. Just a small mist. We'll see. Can you guys see? You zoom me in a little bit. You can't really see the top on it good here. That's not. Nah, we need that. That's what I'm used to. See right now that those black places gonna be hard to cover. That's what I was afraid of. Maybe the second coat. This one on good. I think those little black marks will cover in the second coat, guys. It's a beautiful red. Absolutely beautiful. Let me look around, see if I missed any. I really need to get down at the bottom here. Because I've always learned you better get your good coat on and try not to do a second coat. Because I have ruined so many things doing a second coat. It really I and I never can remember what paint it is. There's a paint out there, like, you do a second coat, it'll start uh, shrinking up, it'll start wrinkling on you. Alright, guys, we'll let that dry, man. I'm, I'm tickled death that paint job. That went on good. Sure did. So, it's gonna be a nice red and gold radio with white knobs. I think it's going to look pretty shabby, guys. Or snazzy. Not shabby. Snazzy. So, I'll have to let this sit here and dry. I'm glad those little... I was worried that the black wasn't going to cover, but that second uh, go, go around, it uh, it took care of it. So, man, it laid down good. Let me bring you guys over here. Look how that laid on there. 
That way good though. It looks orange in the camera, but I'm telling you, it's red. And that looks good, don't it? I hope I got all the louvers. I hope there's no spots in there. Is that? I can't tell. I think, yeah, there's some spots here. I better get those real quick. go back around it one more time because the only reason I've seen this because I've shown you guys and that flashlight was hitting it let's check this out okay this I don't have them all right cool all right guys yeah I put a thick coat on that so it's going to take a while to dry so we'll just give it time and we'll come back and uh, see what she looks like now we do know we're gonna have some touch up on the gold when we get that get to that point. So we'll have to touch it up and stuff like that. And we still got the bottom to paint, but the big my big concern's done the top. So all right, I'll see you all here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back. We're in in the workshop for a minute. I gotta come and get these knobs. I gotta take them inside and give them a good cleaning. Um, I have a question, guys. Anybody out there that would know how this works, I would really appreciate leave it in the comments. Because I've been looking at it and studying it. The only thing I've came to conclusion is there's something missing. Is my light on? Yeah. Because, uh, I just don't see how it would change stations at all. When you, there, there's a little thing there that moves up and down. Let me see if I can get on it. It's over here in the corner and I can't quite get it where I want it to be but anyway I don't see how it can change the tune or the station because it don't really touch the uh, tuning capacitor there's nothing at all to engage it take these antenna things off so I'm turning it around for a minute I gave it a good cleaning clean the chassis up and clear coated it. It was a little rusty out there and on top of here. And I put a rust remover. It was just so thick. But over this side, I cleaned up real good. All down through here, just a couple little rust spots. But anyway, we can look at it a little bit better back here. But see, there's nothing touches that. I'm sure, sorry my, so shaky guys, I'm holding, holding my camera in my hand for a minute, I'll get the tuner, and you, we'll move it up, and you can see, well, why well, this thing's got to be so difficult, see I'm moving it, and there's nothing touching There's a little, see that, like that little hammer thing over there in the corner? That's the only movement. Why is my phone, I'm trying to keep this thing as sturdy as possible, and it's, ah, uh, Android. I'm trying to get over there so you guys can see that movement. See that, like that hammer? That's the only thing. I see any type of movement for up here. But, see, I'm pushing the buttons down. I 
And you think there's something missing? Because that's not touching nothing. I don't see how it could even possibly do anything. Was it just a gimmick? Alrighty, guys. We're getting ready to go back in the house and work a little bit more on the case. Hope y'all ain't seasick. Alrighty, guys. I am back. Oh, these type of videos are some of the, one of the hardest videos to do. To try to do them one day. This is still... A little tacky guys so I don't know I'm wanting to uh, proceed here um, I got the handle cleaned up um, I, tr I thought that was brass but I think it was just copper uh, it's just plated brass because the magnet stuck to it but I got it looking better so I don't think we should probably put that on quite yet where it's still a little tacky. But I think we can try to get these off and see what that's going to look like. Because I'm worried because whenever you try to uh, tape something off, sometimes it don't work. In my case, it hardly never works. So let's see what, what it's going to do. Hopefully, it's not bad. I've had this thing setting for almost two hours. I thought for sure it would be dry. But it is not. I'm sorry, getting a little... Right there is like a little bit of dust. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get my exacto knife out. <laughs> All right, I got the exacto and I got the tweezers. So let's see what the damage is. Well, so far pretty good. There's a little overspray here, but like I said, I'm gonna try to touch this up with gold so I can get up in there. Too bad so far. You want to just go slow and kind of pull down so you don't break that line. I learned that off Bad Chad. Y'all ever watch Bad Chad? I bet he can build some hot rods. My goodness, that boy can do body work. So far, so good. Uh oh. This is where it got damp when we was cleaning it. Push that up here. Push that a little bit of red. Yeah, I think we can fix that. I'm happy with it. Yes. Now, hopefully the bezel is going to be okay. And I hope my go paint touches this up. Because it didn't look that bad when the whole radio was white, did it? I, mean, I didn't know it was that bad. Alright, here we go.
did put a thick coat of paint on that. That's probably why it's taking so long to dry. Come on. It's really stuck. Got quite a bit of paint on that. But we may be able to touch it up. Our tape went right underneath that, or the paint did. And I had that taped really good too right there. But we may be able to go over with gold. I don't know yet. Let's see. Now I got I have I have gold paint, model paint, and I have this gold marker. Be nice if this would work. We'll start back here in the back and see what it looks like. Hey. That don't look too shabby. What do you think? That don't look too shabby at all. You can't see. Sorry about that, guys. Check this out. See this black here? I love these pens. I've said it before, I bought them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they are just awesome. When you're building models and stuff, I don't know what that bottom looks like. Mm -hmm. These little touch up here. That's where the glue was. Ain't want to cover right there, but yeah, I think we can use this marker, guys. So that is cool. So let's go around through here and see if we can fill in all these little bad places. I think it even going to touch this red up. Oh yeah, it goes right over that red. That looks pretty good, don't it? It's a little wet there still. Probably have to come back on that one. So what I'll probably do, guys, I was wanting to get the radio and everything put in here tonight. I'll probably just make a part three. And tomorrow, um, we'll finish it up. It won't be a very long video finishing it up, but I think it probably work out better that way. And also, I've been working and cleaning the radio itself. And I was playing a little bit last night. And uh, it was, uh, it's not perfect. It's definitely going to be recapped. So we are going to have to uh, place an order on that in a week or two. But, you know, the radio works. And she's going to be pretty. And we could do that on a later date. We've got a couple of radios. We've got to do that too. Go back and recap. All 
I think that looks pretty good. You got to look really close to see the difference. I mean, there is a little difference in it, but not so much that, you know, it just looks horrible. Hope it don't look too bad here because I got to use quite a bit of it because this kind of went around. kind of ate through the tape a little bit almost right here kind of blended in there a little bit and in the bottom looks good needs a little bit right here it looks pretty good I'm not complaining right here is I'm, I'm sure that model paint wouldn't look this good it, that model paint is super thin. I got a little too high on that. A little high. Yeah, going, but it's fine. And that side don't need it. I think it looks good now. I'm going to fix all this over here too. I'm just going to go and. Oops, sorry guys. I didn't mean to move the camera like that. It's going to be a little bit tough here. I can't get my arm right. Hopefully, I can. It took a lot longer than I thought it would doing this radio. I kind of thought we would uh, get done in about an hour. Oh, I can't get that way I want it. do that can't touch it. I can't move it I can't get my arm comfortable here let me see if I can I think that looks good, guys. I just wish I didn't have to put so much gold here. But, uh, really don't know what to do about that. Yeah. 
I wonder if I should just color in the whole thing. I don't know if I got enough paint to do that or marker. I think it looks all right. I don't know. Mm. If it wasn't, if I didn't have to do that, these little simple, these little lines aren't bad. But for some reason, I'm not happy. I'm not happy how that turned out there. We need to go over here too. That was my chair, guys. I didn't pour it. Let me see. Let me see if I can. I really like how that bezel came out. I think it looks all right. I just wish I didn't have to use so much here. All right, you guys. I think we're going to call it quits on it tonight. Later, I'm going to let it sit here. And harden up and dry. And then tomorrow we'll get in here and we'll get the radio put in. And we'll get the handle put on. But you can't see it with the handle here. There you go. We'll get the we'll put the handle back on it. I think that white's gonna look awesome. The white knobs and everything. I'm really looking forward to seeing it done. So be looking out, guys, for a part three. And we'll let this thing set overnight and do its thing. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend. And until next time, I'll see you right here, Redneck Waves. Bye, guys.